Hello there guys, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial. In the previous video we spoke about insert uh, statement which allows us to add uh, values into the database and today we will talk about how we can retrieve or select values from it. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna repeat things again just to remind, uh, remind you. So I'm gonna start a new project, it's gonna be C Sharp, I will hit OK and uh, after that go to the solution explorer uh, right click on that and select uh, add from there uh, select a new item uh, choose data and service based database I'll leave the name as it is and hit add and uh, I should see the database file there uh, double click that file and uh, now I'll right click sorry and select add a new query and in the previous video in order to create uh, a table I said I said I wrote create table uh, people and here is going to be person ID uh, integer primary key and there is uh, there was person name uh, on var char of 100 and it wasn't null and the last one was person age which was an integer. Close that and we run. And command completed successfully, no problem there. And then we added some values. So we used this insert statement, insert into people, values 1 uh, smith uh, 22 semicolon, and insert into people values, uh, it was 2 Todd, uh, it was 23 or something like that and insert into a people uh, values 3 uh, Lin Linda uh, and there's going to be 20 and uh, insert into people values uh, Michael okay and there's going to be 30 or maybe 32 okay and so on and uh, we insert the values there and just to make sure open here and show table data you can see the data here no problem so now the question is how can I select values or return uh, some values from the database and the answer is very uh, simple okay let me clear this there's a statement called select a statement so First, I will write the simplest form, select star from people. So here, select star from people. I run this and I get the four rows. Okay, select star means uh, get me the first and second and third columns, or in other words, all the available columns of the table. Okay, so get me all the columns from this table. Okay, well, I can. Uh, uh, specify the tables that I want to see. So if I say, well, g uh, get me all the names. So I'm going to say select person name. There we go. And run this. I get the person name. Okay. What uh, if I want to see the ages? So uh, uh, person age. And I run that. I get the age. Now, what if I want to see, well, the name and the age? So I say person name, a comma person age and I run that okay so it's very simple you just uh, you either put a star or you specify the names and separate them by a comma okay so let's say you see well what if I don't want to say person name person age I want to say well name and age well you can rename the resulting column okay or this will, will affect the result of the select only, not the original table. So I'm going to say select per, uh, person name as name. I'm going to run this and you see now the column is called name, not person name. Okay, uh, I will continue this and say uh, per, person age as age. And I run this. Okay, actually you can even remove the as here and you run this and you get the same result. Okay, so 
if you see two column uh, two names without uh, a comma between them so it means you are renaming one of the column names um, you might need this uh, from time to time when you have kind of similar names and you want to distinguish them or maybe you have two columns with the same name uh, but you want to distinguish uh, them now how you get two columns with the same name uh, we will get to that later on but anyway just need to know that such a thing exists okay so let me put this uh, the way it was okay so far this wasn't very impressive why because we are getting all the results we do are just selecting columns well what if we want to find something so here we are going to use the where statement so here you put a condition let's say I want to see uh, the record for uh, Todd. So here I'm going to say person name equals Todd. Okay, so I just put a condition here and I'm going to run this and I only see the uh, record of Todd. What if I want to see Michael? Michael. And I'm going to run this. Okay, what if I enter a name that doesn't exist? Uh, Superman, let's say. And I click and you see no records at all. Okay. Uh, what if I put well some condition like this one doesn't equals two when I run this it's gonna return to me all the results why because for the first record now uh, let me explain wh why this works or maybe uh, thanks are from people let me give you a uh, person uh, person ID equal one I'm gonna run this. So let's say let us try to understand this. Select star from people where person ID equal one. So what happens in the database is the following: the database management system will get into the first record. It is gonna apply this condition on that record. Uh, does person ID equal one? So here, person ID actually equals one. So it it is gonna be displayed here. Okay, so it's part of the output but the database management system will not stop there because it doesn't know uh, the total number of results so it's gonna get into the second record and uh, uh, does uh, pers uh, person ID equal to, to one no it doesn't it equals to two so it's gonna skip this one does person ID equal uh, to one no it equals three so it's gonna fail does person ID equal to uh, uh, one no it, it equals to four so it's gonna fail okay so every time you put a where statement this where statement is gonna get evaluated for all the available rows now check this out when I say where one doesn't equals two and I run here so check the condition when this one is, is getting executed for this record the constant or the number one is one equals to two no it doesn't now our condition is saying that one doesn't equal two so the condition is true and because of that I will get the first record now for the second record the value one is still doesn't equal to the value two so this will be part of the output for the third record also it is a fact that one doesn't equal two so the condition is still true so I get this one as part of the result for the fourth record the same uh, is it true the where statement is still true where one doesn't equals two okay so now what if I change this I say one equals two okay and I try to run I get nothing why well, the uh, database managers management system would get into the first record. Is going to ask, well, uh, one equals the value. Uh, the value one equals the value two. Is that true or false? That is false. So this row will not be part of the result. It will get it to the second row, and is going to ask the same question. Uh, is the value one? equal to value 2 no it is not so this one is false and it will not output the record to get to the third 
and forth and so on until it finishes all the table and you see there is no result to be displayed why because this condition is getting evaluated to false for every single record okay if I say uh, let's say where 9 equals 9 well of course 9 equals 9 regardless of the values in every single row 9 always equals 9 so they all get evaluated to true so I'm expecting to see all the result okay or all the rows okay anyway so uh, the reason I am explaining this uh, so, so that you can imagine what's happening in the database okay so now uh, we only learned how we can filter records by saying let's say person ID equals 3 so when I say select star from people where person ID equals 3 so here uh, the database gonna, uh, management system is gonna select this row and first is gonna ask itself is the person ID in this row equals to 3 well no it equals to 1 so the where statement here fails so uh, the first record will not be part of the result now database management system move to the next row and is going to apply the same condition so is the person id equal to three well no it equals to two if you have a look here it is two so the condition fails this is not going to be part of the output we get into this one and we see well is the person id equals to three so the person id here for this record is uh, 3 which is equal to the constant 3 or the value 3 so it is correct so this is part of the re record and 4 is not okay uh, as you can see here and does that make sense I hope it makes sense to you guys so now well well that's interesting we can get uh, for example uh, you know person name okay uh, for, for these guys but what if I want to say okay so now uh, what if I want to say well uh, I want to get uh, the records for the people those age between 20 and 30 so all I have to do is okay uh, so here what are we doing or what are we gonna do is gonna, gonna say person age okay is it gonna be a greater than or equal 20 and person age smaller than uh, 30 and we run this and we get three records why because for the first record here the person age here will uh, which is 22 will be substituted by you know the values here and here and uh, this as a condition will be evaluated if this one is a true and this one is a true the record will be part of the result okay so the first record is 22 so 22 is obviously greater than 20 and obviously smaller than 30 so we get it a uh, second record is 23 which is still greater than 20 and smaller than uh, 30 so another uh, success and the third is true but the fourth which is 32 32 is not okay so it's a very simple very straightforward um, now uh, so if we think about this here we see that we use two conditions and we link these two conditions with the AND so uh, this is very similar to programming uh, the AND operator here means that the first condition must be successful and the second condition must be successful so the the final or the full you know uh, the joint condition of, of these two uh, will be a success as well if any one of these fails so the where statement fails okay so just remember that now what if you want to say well I want to see the records for people those age is beyond 30 or uh, or the people uh, those name is uh, Smith okay so here you see two records this one is Smith uh, because it satisfied this condition and this one uh, we got it because it satisfied this condition and we link these two condition with or so any one of these two when it gets successful the where statement gets successful 
Okay, so these are the uh, you know logical operators. These are the same logical operator that you find in programming. It's very straightforward. It is very easy. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um, I think uh, um, that will be enough as an example here. Okay. So uh, maybe we can create another table. And uh, or may maybe in the next video we will work with joins. We we will see how we can combine two or three tables, okay? And uh, how we can create a larger table from that, and how we can filter on the results and so on, okay? So uh, that would be all for today. Uh, I hope uh, this was uh, obvious for you guys. Uh, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.